This is Larry Anglosano reporting for Aviation Consumer Magazine. The market has been waiting for an inexpensive but modern retrofit FAA-approved autopilot, and TrueTrack has been working to deliver just that with an STC-approved version of its Experimental Vision digital autopilot. At Sun and Fun 2017, the company was selling PMA-approved installation kits for the Cessna 172 and 177 models. To get an update on the status of final certification and delivery, I spoke with Andrew Barker at TrueTrack. We are working on some STCs for the 172 and 177. Uh, we've got uh, the first STCs issued with our partner EAA, and we're out here at the aircraft at EAA's booth. And we got the STCs issued last week on Tuesday, I believe it was, so late there in March. And now, as of Monday of this week, we got our PMA for our facility. So these are two of the big, really big steps that we need to get the full autopilot system approved and, and out the door here coming in July. One of the really neat things about what we're doing here is we're taking the traditional PMA pathway and we've got this really close partnership we're doing with EAA and the FAA on this. And there's a lot of other groups that are getting into the fray and helping with that. You got AOPA and AEA and GAM and all these guys are really putting a lot of effort and energy into this new way to get a PMA. So it's kind of using the exact same pathway that PMA has always been done, but the really, really, really special part about it is it's scalable PMA for the risk of the product that is being approved. So the autopilot we're getting approved here with EAA is the Vision Autopilot. That's an autopilot we've been producing at TrueTrack for about the last four years, but it's based very heavily on our DigiFlight 2, which is a product we've made since actually 2003. So Vision has a whole lot of history and a uh, feature set on this autopilot is we've got track select, we've got the ability to follow a basic flight plan and a GPS, we've got altitude hold, we've got vertical speed climb descent, and we've even got altitude pre-select in there. A couple other neat safety features in there as well. There's uh, one that's a brand new feature that uh, we're not going to talk too much about yet, but um, at Oshkosh we'll let that one sneak out. But we also have our emergency level in there and that's uh, you push the little blue button and it goes to wings level and zero vertical speed if you find yourself in trouble. Now let's talk just a little bit about insulation. So in the 172, the pitch servo mounts right up front between the rudder pedals and we drive the stick directly. Really simple, fast install. The roll servo mounts out in the right wing and we drive the aileron bell crank there directly. Really great thing about this installation is it's all push rod. We don't have to mess with cables and cable tensions and all that sort of good stuff. Um, a little bit about autopilot form factor. The Vision Autopilot is available in actually three different form factors. We've got a three and an eighth round, a two and a quarter round, and we also have what we call our flat pack. That's kind of the, the four inch by two inch form factor. The Vision Autopilot, currently in the experimental world, will interface with just about any avionics suite out there. In the certified world, we're still kind of discussing with the FAA what amount of interface is going to be in there at the, the lowest level of PMA. So it may actually turn out that we move our PMA up one level from the very bottom to a step up so that we can be able to do those interfaces. Right now we do know that we're going to be able to interface with anything that is a handheld GPS or something like that. The only question is how much really can we interface with all the other equipment. And we'll get that ironed out here over the next month or so. Um, please let us know your interest in that though because it is something that the more energy we need to put into that is then we'll definitely do so. So we definitely want to keep working towards that solution. We know that right now the answer we're getting here at the show is that everyone really does want to see a lot of interface so we will keep working on that. So the Vision Autopilot install kit for the 172 and the 177 which we're actually selling now is a thousand dollars. That thousand dollars gets you your mounting brackets, your AN hardware and also currently a free wiring harness for the system. It also gets you on that waiting list for the eventual product when it does hit here in July. Uh, the Vision Autopilot itself, we're expecting to be, it and the servos, to cost around $4,000. We don't have that one exactly 100% 100% nailed down just yet, but we're pretty close. So expect a total system cost around five, plus installation. Installation on the 172 here, uh, we're thinking probably 12 to 16 hours of install time there. So depending on what part of the country you're in, and what your shop rate is, you could have an install for between $1,000 and $1,500. Now that we've got the 172 and the 177 install kit approval, we actually have been taking a list on our website, truetrackap.com. You can click on the link there and add yourself to the list, and it'll let us know what other aircraft types we need to get started on. Um, start Coming up right after the show, we're going to get started on the 182, the Mooney, the PA-28, and probably a couple others all at once that we're going to try to get as many types in there as we can between now and Oshkosh.